Father, glory to your name, oh God. Hey, God. Ooh, bless your name, oh God. Thank you, Lord. When I tell y'all God is good, I'm still soaking in the residual from last night. If you call, ooh, bless your name, God. Makeover ministry from last night. You know that it was mighty. It was powerful. The Lord showed up. Somebody got free last night. Somebody got healed last night. Somebody got delivered. My Lord. Hey, God. Hey, God. See, worship is a key. Hey, God. So I had to let y'all in on this thing because this is how I got free. See, after the altar, you still got to do some things. You still got to maintain your deliverance. My Lord. It's just like when you a cigarette smoker. You only can, that cigarette lasted so long till you got to get to the next cigarette. Till you got to get to the next one. See, this is worship. It goes in the middle. It fills in the gap. So even as I was walking through, through, uh, whew, bless your name, God. Through Kroger today, I was just blessing God. Hey, God. Thank you, Lord. See, he's been so good. You have to learn how to wake up in the morning and start your day off with Jesus. He's better than Folgers in your cup. You got to wake up and set your affections on the things of God. Lord, you're so good to me. Hey, God. Thank you, Lord. Glory to your name, oh great God. Hey, God. You have to learn how to press in with worship. You got to learn how to press in with praise. It's not about, see, so often we've learned it the wrong way. We learn you go to church and you watch the other people. You sit in the pew and they sing and you might get up and you might clap. No, 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 no. That's called entertainment, my Lord. That's a concert. But when we are worshiping, that's a personal, individual, person by person thing. Worship is, is personal. It's between you and God. You can do it every, anywhere you at. You can do it in your bathroom. You can do it in the kitchen, my Lord. You can do it in Kroger's. Bless God. You can do it in your car. It don't require no music. Hallelujah. All I got to do is look back over my life. Hey, God. And remember what he brought me through. And I can say, God, you're good. You're amazing, God. You're wonderful. You're beautiful to me, God. Hey, God. He's a keeping God. He's a sustaining God. Hey, God. You have to learn how to set your affections on the things of God. Set your focus. He said he'll keep you in perfect peace if. It's contingent upon the things that you do afterwards. My Lord, my Lord, he's so good, y'all. He's so good. He's so amazing. He's so mighty. My Lord, there's nothing too hard for him. Hey, God, when I tell you there's nothing that's greater, there's nothing that's bigger, there's nothing that you are going through in this season, not in your body, not in your finances, not in your home, not in your marriage. My God, there's nothing too big for God. See, we see in God differently. We see in him too small. We see in Corona this big and God this big, when in our actuality, God is this big and Corona is this big. Our problems are this big. Our situation are this big. Our circumstances are this big. Our bills are this big. We serve a mighty God. When you wake up in the morning and you say, God, you're good. Who bless your name, God. Hey, God, you're good. In spite of all, God, you're good. You have to learn how to praise God because praise sanitizes your atmosphere. It lets the devil know, I can't worry about what you're talking about today. I will bless the Lord at all times on a good day. Hey, on a tough day. Hey, God, it ain't no such thing as no bad day. It's only a day that the Lord will get the glory out of. A day that he'll make a testimony out of, no matter who comes against you. Hey, shut it up. Hey, God, this is how I got healed. You know what? Nobody laid hands on me. Hey, God, I woke up every day and I pressed in with worship. I pressed in. I don't care what your illness is. You get up every day and you say, God, I call you as Jehovah Rapha. God, I, I want to be healed. I want I want to be made whole. I want my marriage to be made whole. Hey, God. Hey, God. I empty out everything I know. Everything I've learned. Hey, God. Hey, God. Hey, God. Hey, God. See, he inhabits the praises of his people. He will come in. He will come in, but he got to know that your storage is empty. Hey, God, if you too full of the opinions of men and the opinions of people. My Lord, you got to say, God, I'm open to whatever you want to do. However you want to do it. God, meet me in this place. Hey, God. Oh, glory. Thank you, God. Hey, God. Oh, bless your name, oh, God. You got to be available. You actually have to be available. We have too many preconceived notions when we come into the presence of God. He's holy. We don't tell him what to do. My Lord, a child doesn't tell their mama what to do. A child don't tell their father what to do. <laughs> Glory to your name, oh great God. Yes, God. Yes, God. Yes, God. Thank you, Lord. Glory to your name, Father. Oh, bless.
bless you, oh great God, just so amazing and wonderful. Hey God. Hey God, I'm trying to teach you a key here. I'm trying to teach you a key. So many people don't maintain their deliverance because they don't learn how to praise God. They don't learn how to worship. They don't learn how to fill in the gaps between Sunday to Wednesday. My Lord, you have to learn how to worship for yourself. You got to learn how to seek the face of God for yourself until the power falls. My Lord, I stumbled upon this. Nobody taught me how to worship. Nobody taught me how to praise God. Hey, God. Hey, Lord. Hey, God. Hey, God. Hey, God. Thank you, Lord. God, you so amazing. Hey, God. See, I'm overtaken by gratitude. I know you might be like, why it ain't that serious? It is that serious, my Lord. Because he saved me. Hey, God, he healed me. He delivered me, my Lord. I'm eternally grateful. Yes, God. Oh, glory to your name, God. You're so amazing and wonderful, Father. Bless you, oh God. Instead of complaining about your ailments, you have to learn how to worship. I was paralyzed on my whole left side and waist down for three years. But the, the day I decided I'm going to be healed. It, it wasn't one day. It didn't happen instantly. Like I said, nobody laid hands on me. I laid hands on myself, my Lord. I got up every day. I worship the Lord. Bless your name, God. Lord, you're holy. I've changed my focus. See, I had been focusing on, oh, my back hurt. Oh, I can't walk. Oh, I'm going through this. Oh, this is bad. I had to change my focus. My Lord, bless your name, God. You're holy. Lord, you're mighty. You're wonderful, oh, God. Hey, God. This is how you get out of sexual sin. My Lord, this is how you break addiction out for your life. My Lord, you have to be able to maintain that thing. When the devil comes, you got to say, no, God is good. God is great. He's mighty. He's a good father. He has me right in the palm of his hand. He's keeping me. He's holding me. He is my defender. Hey, God. He is my defender. I don't have to defend myself. Oh, God. I don't have to defend myself. No matter what people say about you, you don't have to defend yourself. Oh, glory. My storage is empty, God. Hey, God. Oh, bless your name, God. Hey, God. Hey, God. We trying to hold on to stuff. That God is trying to let go. He wants us to let go of it. See, when you become a worshiper and you lift your hands up, your storage becomes empty. You say, God, I'm available for whatever you want to do. However you want to do it in your time frame, God. Hey, God. Woo, bless your name, oh great God. Hey, God. See, I don't know your story. I don't know your testimony. I don't know where you've been. I don't have anybody else's testimony to share. All I have is mine. My Lord. People will say, oh, I want what you got. I want to be how you are. So you, I'm just trying to teach you. You can't be how I am, but you can be how you are. But I can teach you some principles. I can teach you some keys. And worship is a way. And it's not quiet. It's not, oh, bless God. No, worship is a loud thing. <laughs> It's a loud thing. My Lord, I'm not ashamed of the gospel. Listen, I almost had a whole praise break in the tea aisle at Kroger's. I could not worry. I couldn't worry because God has been so good. He's been so good to me. He's been so good. My God, my God, my God. Oh, bless your name, God. You got to learn how to press in with praise. You got to learn how to worship. Don't watch me worship wherever you are in your home. You got to lift up your hands and say, God, do that thing for me that I'm waiting on for you to do. See, your testimony is always developing. Yes, he healed me from homosexuality. He called me out of that. He called me out of sexual sin. Yes, he called me out of those things. He healed my body. He regulated my mind. But I still need him to save my babies. My God. I still need him to deliver my children. I'm still waiting, so I'm standing in the gap with worship. Saying, God, I still trust you. I still believe that you're still able and that you're still doing it. Don't get weary and well-doing, people of God. 
You can't get weary even in worship. You can't be like, oh, I'm too tired. I'm too busy. I can't do all that. I can't make time for the Lord. You got to make time. We make time for everything else. Worship is essential in maintaining your deliverance. It's like people that get off of uh, heroin and drugs and all kind of things. And they think they need suboxone. You don't need suboxone. My Lord. Ah, that's not deliverance. Whew. It's not deliverance. It's not deliverance. It's transferring. No. You can be free through worship. Lifting up your hands saying, God, I trust you. I trust you, God. I trust you, Lord. I trust you, God. Hey, God. Hey, God. Who bless your name, God? See, I was my son was struggling. And I don't tell any testimonies to degrade anybody, but you just gotta tell the truth. My son was struggling, my Lord. Who bless your name, God. He was struggling with masturbation. <clears throat> and I said, let me tell you something, son. I said, when you in that bed and that devil start trying to make you feel some type of way, you better cry out and say, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. I don't care who's listening, my Lord. Because at the name of Jesus, demons tremble and devils flee sickness has to bow down at the name of Jesus. You got to call on Jesus. And when I hear you in your room calling on Jesus, hey, hey God, I know I got to intercede. Hey, God, you got to have some signals in your house, my Lord. Hey, God. Hey, God. Just like, come on in the room. When people was in the streets and they selling dope, they got a lookout man. You got to be the lookout man for your family as people are getting delivered. Hey, God, my house is a house of deliverance. My Lord. My house is a place where people can get free, my God, and not just get free for a moment. There's a lot of people going to church and they lay it down Sunday, but by Wednesday, they picking that thing back up, my God. We got to get free and stay free. Worship is a key to freedom. I'm trying to tell you, people of God. Whoo, bless your name, God. <laughs> Don't nobody got to tell me to worship. They probably got to tell me to be quiet because I've seen worship work for me. I've seen worship work in so many situations, my Lord, even when I didn't want to be kept. I found myself in a situation where my focus had been shifted. And when I tell you in that moment, I heard the Lord singing over me, but it was my voice. And it was a song that I sang to him. He was singing it back to me. He was reminding me in that moment, my Lord, it was a star stored up praise. Hey God, that he deposited in that moment to remind me, hey God, who I was, where I was, who I was, my Lord, whose I was. Hallelujah. Oh, bless your name. God. Bless your name, God. Hey, God. Hey, God. I'm so full this morning. I'm so stirred up, God. Hey, God, my Lord. Oh, God. Oh, bless your name, God. My Lord, my Lord, and my God. He's so good. He's so good. He's so good. You don't have to worry, worship. You don't have to get stressed out. Worship, woman of God. Worship, man of God. It has to be second nature to you. You got to sing a song in your heart all throughout the day. You don't have to be scared of Corona. My Lord, you don't have to be scared of losing a job. You don't have to be scared of losing a person. You got to learn how to worship. Press in. This your communion. That's how you go back and forth with the Lord. My Lord. Thank you, Lord. Glory to your name. Oh, God. Hey, God. We talk about the importance of, of, of prayer, but we sometimes don't talk about the importance. Hey, God. Ooh. About the importance of worship. Hey, God. You got to teach your children to worship. These kids know all of these dances and all of this stupid stuff. But they don't know how to worship. They don't know how to reverence God as holy. Whose fault is it? It's your fault. It was my fault. My Lord. You control the music in your house. You control the songs in your house. My Lord. As for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. Whew. My Lord. Glory to your name, people of God. God is so good. Glory to your name, God. Glory to your name. Glory to your name, oh great God. Woo, bless your name, Father. Bless you, oh God. Oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God. Mm, mm, mm. Woo, my Lord. Woo, glory to your name, oh God. 
<laughs> Ooh, bless your name, God. Hey, God. Ooh, bless your name, God. My Lord. My Lord, my Lord, my Lord. You don't have to have a praise and worship leader to lead you into the presence of God. You got to learn how to go for yourself. My Lord. My Lord. Whether you got music or you don't have music. Ooh, bless your name, God. My Lord, when I tell y'all, and people that used to smoke weed are that smoke weed and they feel like it's the highest high. When I tell y'all I'm so high in the spirit right now, who bless your name, God. You don't have to drink. You don't have to smoke. God is available. He will fill you. He will meet you right there where you are. Hey, God. Who bless your name, God. You're searching for love in all the wrong places. You're searching for peace in all the wrong places. You're searching for acceptance in all the wrong places. Woo, everything you need is in Christ. Everything you need. There is no condemnation to those that are in Christ. There's condemnation to those that are doing that smoking weed because you got to hide it. My Lord, you got to flush your urine for a drug test. There's condemnation for those that are, that are uh, drinking, that are in sexual sin, that are masturbating, that are in homosexuality. You condemning yourself. You feeling some type of way. There's no condemnation. Just get in Christ. Don't worry about the rest. The one thing that I love that Apostle Chad Collins always says, he said, you get in dirty. You don't come to Christ cleaned up. You get in just as you are. When the woman was caught in adultery, he didn't say, go home and clean yourself up. He looked at the crowd. He said, ye without sin cast the first stone. My Lord and my God, that's the mark of a man of God. That's the mark of a woman of God. He backs the crowd up off of you first. You're not going to judge nobody in the makeover ministry. People come in here the way they come in here. My Lord, who are you to put somebody out? You didn't die up on no cross. Who? My Lord. Who? Precious is the blood. My Lord, my Lord, my Lord. I didn't die for nobody. I can't condemn anybody. How precious is the blood? How precious is the blood? Who bless your name, God, my Lord, my Lord, my Lord, my Lord, and my God. Who God is so good. We gotta count the cost of the blood. Who? Thank you, Lord. It just confuses me. Who, my Lord. We don't. We don't count. God as who he is. We don't count him as mighty. We limit his power. We say he can pay bills, but he can't fully deliver. He can only half deliver. I got to still be on uh, some medication. I got to still be on some pills. I was on 10 prescriptions a day, including 40 milligrams of Oxycontin a day. Ask me how many prescriptions I take today. Zero. Nothing but the blood of Jesus. He's still able, people of God. He's still able. He's not a half deliverer. You got to keep pressing in. You have to keep every day. Listen, I told the Lord this. I said, I'm going to press in every day until you heal me. If you're still healing, God, do it in me. I'm going to press in every day. It didn't happen on day one. I didn't get healed. Day two, I didn't get healed. Day three, I didn't get healed. Day four, I didn't get healed. Day five, I didn't get healed. Day six, I didn't get healed. Day seven, I didn't get healed. Day eight, I didn't get healed. Come on in the room. I kept pressing in, though. I was faithful that God was going to do that thing. Sometimes we too easy to give up on our miracle. Hey, God. Ooh, bless your name. We too easy to give up, my Lord. We done been back to exes more times than that. I didn't get healed on day 10. I didn't get healed on day 11. I didn't get healed on day 12. I didn't get healed on day 13. But on day 14, my Lord and my God, when I got up to roll out of that bed, my legs worked. I'm trying to tell you, you got to learn how to press in with praise. Praise is a weapon. Whew, it'll give you peace. You can hear clearly. Hey, God. Whew. It'll help you treat people right. You ain't got to try to deny yourself. When you learn how to praise God, it does something on the inside of you. It transforms you. It's a means of surgery. When your spirit is open and you are blessing the Lord with all of you and your focus is on him. And I'm not talking about a hippity hop song. I'm talking about I'm pressing into the Lord. I'm in that place where I'm saying, God, you are so good. Hey, God. Hey, God. 
I'm not talking about one of them songs where you uh, hip hop and you can still do worldly dances. I'm talking about where you are in full surrender mode. And you are thinking about the holiness of God. And you begin to feel the tangible. Hey, God. Ooh. 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 The tangible presence of God. Hey, God. When you feel the tangible presence of God, something is transforming in you that you don't even know. He's doing things in you that you don't even know. He's removing things that you don't even know. He's shifting you. He's shaping you. He's meeting you right there where you are. My Lord, not only does your praise do things in your life, your praise breaks chains off of other people's life. We have to learn how to press in with praise. Praise is so personal. It doesn't require somebody else. Hey, God. All it takes is you just to look back over your own life and know that God has been good to you. Hey, God, it does something on the inside of you. My Lord, it builds up your defenses from the fiery darts of the enemy. They come. It helps you be strong. It helps you to endure hardship like a good soldier. See, I, I had to remember, learn something. I used to pray and say, Lord, let no hurt, harm, or danger come my way. He said, hurt, harm, and danger is going to come your way, but it's not going to prosper. Hey, God. 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 He said a thousand shall fall at your left, ten thousand at your right, but it won't come near your tent. My Lord, it'll come close. Hey, God. I got to use somebody for a testimony. Somebody got to get cancer. Somebody got to get corona so that I can show that I'm still a healer. Hey, God. Somebody got to get. Somebody got to get it. Somebody got to go through. My Lord, somebody got to go through. We got to grow up in our faith and stop asking God to take things that he's asked us to lay down. Your life is not your own anymore. Ooh, glory to your name, God. <laughs> Worship is where you draw strength from. It's where you draw strength from. My Lord, my God. Hey, God. Hey, God. Hey, God. Hey, God. Hey, God. When I tell you, I've had to worship God. Ooh. I've had to worship God when my children were out of my reach and they was in a bad situation and I didn't have nobody else. I didn't have nobody that could reach my baby. So I say, God, I trust you. I trust you, God. I trust you. He kept my babies. He kept my babies. Oh, Jesus. My Lord. My Lord and my God. My Lord and my God. He kept my babies. He kept my babies. I've had to learn how to worship God through the hard times. I don't have time to keep complaining about the pain in my body. I got to learn how to press in with praise. Because at the name of Jesus, demons, if you keep saying, oh, this hurt and that hurt and this hurt and that hurt. No, you got to learn how to shift in the name of Jesus. You got to learn how to shift. You have to learn how to shift and say, God, I trust you to be a healer, God. Reveal yourself to me as Jehovah Rapha, the God that heals. See, I, I realize we got some unbelieving believers. My Lord, we believe the doctor's report. More than we believe in the true power of God. What did he go up on the cross for? What did he get beat for? He said, by his stripes, you are healed, woman of God. You are healed, man of God. Why do you want to keep claiming sickness? My Lord and my God. Hey, God. Who? Hey, God. Who? Jesus, my Lord. My Lord. Yes, God. Thank you, Lord. Glory to your name, oh great God. He makes the darkness tremble. The darkness bows down at his name. Whoo, glory to your name, Father. We giving the devil more credit than he should have. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to your name, God. Hey, God, I prayed for somebody just yesterday that had coronavirus. And I said, I'm so grateful for this situation. And then the Lord began to speak through me. And the Lord said, I allowed that because her, because her, her, um, who bring it back to me, Lord? She was too casual about the things of God. She was too casual and calm. She was too cute about the things of God. I had to let Corona touch her so that when I healed her, she would come out on fire so that she would know me. Hi, huh? God. So that she would know me as Jehovah Rapha, the God that heals. See, I knew of God, but I didn't know him as Jehovah Rapha until I was paralyzed and the doctors couldn't fix me. Hi, huh? God. I didn't know him. See, it's in our experience that we learn to know God. He said when she comes out of this thing, my Lord! Ooh. Ooh. 
Woo! You can't get worried, people of God. You can't get worried. You can't. I'm so sick of seeing people of God up on the on this Facebook with all these masks on, like that's really protecting you. It's not protecting you. I need to let you know that it's not protecting you. You cannot preserve your own life. If the Lord wants to touch you, He will touch you. My God, we have to do better, people of God. We gotta do better. If the people of God are walking around masked up, caped up, gowned up, like you about to do surgery, my Lord, what you been going to church for? He said he's your protector. He said he's your keeper. Then I seen they got masks with Bible scriptures on it. That's just like blasphemy to me. When I tell you he has kept you through time after time, thing after thing, my Lord, he said he said his life, your life is no longer your own. When you surrender yourself to the Lord, he feels you. His life is in you. He said, no man takes my life. I lay it down. So if anybody has went home to went home by via Corona and they was a child of God, the Lord laid their life down. You cannot preserve your own life, people of God. When Jesus laid hands on the lepers, on the lepers, they didn't get, they didn't, he didn't get sick. He didn't get leprosy. Whew. He didn't get leprosy. The Bible says the signs of a believer, they shall lay hands on the sick and they shall recover. It's only for our testimony. I survived Corona. I need you to put that on the screen. I survived Corona. It ain't even over, but it's over in my mind. I can't worry about no Corona. I'm on to the next thing. I survived Corona. My Lord. Hallelujah. Praise your way through people of God. God is faithful. He's faithful. Woo. He's faithful. He's faithful. He's faithful. He's faithful. And not only is he faithful, he's perfect in all of his ways. Woo. Thank you, Lord. Bless your name, God. Woo. Go throughout your day knowing that God is with you. No weapon formed against you shall prosper. And every tongue that rises up, it shall be condemned. That is your birthright as a child of God. Be encouraged, people of God. Be blessed. Be faithful above all things. And be holy. Blessings and peace from the Makeover Ministry.